Why do I need to have these important pelvic exams? And so one thing that we think of for endometrial cancer, which is cancer of the uterus, is that that is a cancer that is about 3% of the general population can get and about 70,000 cases per year occur. And so when we have a postmenopausal woman who has any type of bleeding, we are concerned about that. And I think every GYN oncologist would say, please get attention with your OBGYN immediately. And is there, what are the other <coughs> symptoms? I mean, you talked about obviously bleeding. So if you're postmenopausal, I know we've had gynecologists on in the past and they've all said, you're not technically in menopause until you've had a full year mm -hmm. of nothing. Yes. No bleeding, not even light or, or anything. So if you're that, so then you are considered postmenopausal at that point. That's correct. And if you have any kind of bleeding, that could be endometriosis. Or endometrial cancer. Or endometrial yes. cancer, sorry. So yes, so you're right in saying that menopause is after you've had a full 12 months of no bleeding. And then any bleeding after that is cancer until it's proving that it is not. Um, and again, that's why it's so important to get those well woman exams every year with their gynecologist because they can be looking and feeling and making sure they don't see anything abnormal and be asking you those appropriate questions to screen for those um, cancers. So what, are there other symptoms besides the bleeding that you should be? Bleeding is the number one, but sometimes pelvic pain. Okay. Um, other times it can be, um, if someone's premenopausal, it can be irregular cycles even. And so okay. when somebody has that pain, that cramping, um, bloating, those are kind of the main signs of endometrial cancer. Mm -hmm. So you can have it before, you could get this type of cancer even before menopause. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. One right. of the risk factors is anything that um, has unopposed estrogen. So if somebody's on a lot of estrogen mm -hmm. um, supple or <clears throat> medication, or if they have, are obese, um, we yeah. store a lot of estrogen within our adipose tissue, and that can lead to that unopposed estrogen causing that endometrial tissue to get hyperplastic um, and have abnormal cells within it that can be precancerous and then lead to cancer. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Dr.